Brother, and can we just stand at this time and welcome <coughs> Ashley to come? As he comes, turn with me to 263, and we'll sing that lovely hymn. How great is our God, how great is His Word, brother. He's the greatest one that ever was heard. Amen. How great is our God. shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. God bless his word to our hearts. 
this day and you may be seated. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We're going to Mystery Invisible Union number 59. Now, last week we had a, a great meeting, I believe. Yes. Speaking on God's word for the season. Yes, amen. And I want to follow on with this message today. And the Lord willing, next Sunday we'll continue on. We just keep going. There are many, many hidden truths in the Word that I believe can bring us great stimulation in this hour if we just let God take control. Amen. Amen. And our little text this morning is, it's impossible, it can't be done. It's impossible, it can't be done be done. Alright, number one. Paul said, not in my time, but in the time when he shall be revealed, see, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. He said, we're going to get into that after a while. The spirit of his mouth. Watch what that is. And shall destroy it with the brightness of His coming. Now we are a little group in Perth, Western Australia that absolutely believe the second coming of Christ has taken place. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. And we believe we're in the hour where destruction is upon the face of the earth. For people do not love this great truth. Because they receive not the love of the truth. Christ is the truth and Christ is the word. But they'd rather have a creed that they might be saved. And for this cause God has sent them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. He said it should be translated there as I looked in the lexicon, the lie, not a lie. That's right. The lie. The same one he told Eve. And number two, it behooves you, my brother and sister, to consider what you're listening at. See, don't just be dull. Don't just listen to any Tom, Dick or Harry. Amen. It behooves you, my brother and my sister, to consider what you're listening to. Don't never underestimate Satan's power for deceived. <coughs> Don't you never underestimate him. Amen. He's smooth as can be. And the Antichrist spirit isn't communism. No. The Antichrist spirit is so close like the real thing so that they'll deceive the very elect if it were possible. Jesus said so. Amen. Matthew 24. It's a religious spirit. And let me say this this morning. What denies the second coming of Christ it's a religious spirit. Amen. Yes, amen. It repudiates true bride doctrine. It repudiates the elect of God. Number three, look at this. Cain and Abel were brothers. The crow and the dove set on 
the same roots. Esau and Jacob were brothers. Judas and Jesus was in the same church. They did everything the same. They worshipped the same. They prayed the same. They sang the same. But one had divine revelation and the other didn't. That's Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now that's the truth. And number four. <coughs> he said, How I've heard men bypass pieces in the scripture. Just to keep from it hurts their theology. That's right. See, there are certain portions of scripture that they'll go around. They'll detour. Amen. And many fundamental statements of the prophet have been detoured because preachers get their theology hurt when they quote them. Number five. We can preach all around everything and leave off the main fundamental root of it. And there's where the lie comes. See? You see? There's where the trouble comes. And today I believe in churches throughout the world, especially the message churches, they will preach on the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. They'll sing about it. They'll write about it. They will preach it and expand upon it. But oh brother, how they detour around the seventh angel who was on earth at the time of his coming. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah? Amen. That's true. That's true. They deny the advent of the prophet messenger. Religious Oh my, he said, they are shiny left in effort and in zeal. But it is Laodicea, not of Christ. For it looks for big crowds, big programs, and startling signs among them. Watch, 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 watch. They preach the second coming of Christ Yes, they do. But deny the advent of the prophet messenger. Though in power and signs and true revelation, he eclipses them all. <coughs> right, number six. Out in the scope of this little ministry that the Lord has given me around the world in different nations, and seeing that sly hand of the devil so tricky, how easy he could upset you and make it look like it's the truth. Yes, sir. The biggest lie was ever told had truth in it. The first lie was ever told had truth in it. The first lie that the devil told he had a lot of truth in it. That's right. Amen? Yes, amen. See, they'll take so much of what the prophet said and then comes the great big full stop. Amen? That's where the lie comes in. Number seven. Oh, we're in St. Matthew also, 24th chapter. Jesus speaking said when the Antichrist would come that it would be so close 
like the real, real work of God, till he would deceive the very elect, if it were possible, watch, deceive the very elect. So brother, you can't look for him any other place than amongst the elect. Hallelujah. Amen. That's his stomping ground. Amen. Yes. Right in the midst of the sons of God. Number eight, he would deceive the very elected if it was possible. But oh, number nine, it's impossible. Amen. Yes. It can't be done. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, it can't be done. Number 10. He said, I heard Billy Graham say the other day in a message, he said, the elected is already deceived. No, no. The elected ain't going to be deceived. No, no. They won't B. No. Church members will. So watch out there. <laughs> but not the elect. Amen. Oh, yeah. They were chosen from the foundation of the world. They cannot be deceived. It's impossible. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Said Hebrews 6. They will not be deceived. Church members will. And who's going to deceive them? The slicker behind the pulpit. Amen. They rely on the clergy. <coughs> they rely on doctors of divinity. But the elected rely solely upon the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen and Amen. Brother, Paul said to me this morning, I had a, re, uh, a reply to uh, the message that I sent out last week. This particular person said, take me forth from your list. I rely on the teachings of this certain evangelist. Oh brother, you need to rely on the teachings of of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Number 11. See, they say, I can't see this message of His coming. You know why they can't see it? Because they're not relying on the Holy Spirit. Amen. Number 12. In the seventh watch, my friend, He comes. Church age at the seven angels' message. See where the deception comes? See where the lie comes? He said we can preach all around everything and leave off the main fundamental root of it and there's where the lie comes. That's right. Oh my, the lie. The lie has to do with the second coming of Christ. The prophet messenger said, three years ago, this was prophecy. Now, it's history. That's right. Amen. And they oppose it. They oppose it from the Pope. In this day, this scripture is fulfilled. We've read it time and time again. And he said, I've read this scripture with a dozen more evidences that we're living in the last days. That generation that will see Jesus Christ return to earth. And I say to you tonight, again, again, this day, this scripture is fulfilled in your sight. Amen. But they oppose it. They denounce it. They repudiate it. Look at number 13. You can tell a man the truth. Let it be proved.
proven by the word and then vindicated. I don't believe it. You can just, he said, don't fool with it no more. Jesus said, not to. He said, it's just like casting pearls before swine. Oh my. Number 14, no, indeed, you'll never deceive them because the elect won't be deceived. Amen. Number 15, St. John 14, 12, He that believes from me, the works that I do shall he do also see. The works preaching to the lost. Healing the sick and then to the impossible to ever be saved. See? See? Brother, this is the most controversial part of the seventh angel's message. See? The whole thing revolves around the second coming of Christ. And immediately after the seals, look what he said in number 16. Folk could just come in. <coughs> it's just wait a while for them to settle down so they can follow me. We're preaching on a very controversial subject this morning, and that is the elect cannot be deceived, it's impossible. And we're on number 16. Look what he said right after the seals. And there will be a ministry coming. No. No. Immediately after he seals, he said that there will be a ministry now. Amen. Amen. Yes. That will preach to the eternal after they have refused to receive it. Yes. The wife, brother, is preaching to the lost. Amen. Yes. Spoke to Brother Paul this morning. I said, you know, Brother Paul, I come up in the Pentecostal age. See? I've seen people foaming at the mouth. I've, I've heard devils speaking out of people. I've seen things happen that I don't see in the South. Because the season has changed. Amen. Yes. There will be a ministry now. Not casting out devils and healing the sick. That will preach to the eternal lost. Because they have refused to receive it. Yes. What? The coming of the Lord. Amen. 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 Oh brother, this is the truth. Amen. That's right. Look, John 8, 44. Jesus said, Here on your father the devil and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Amen. Number 17. That's exactly the same thing that these big denominations do. The works of the devil. Their father, they do. That's pretty strong. Yes. <laughs> There's nothing attached to that. That's just raw Bible truth. Amen. Yes. See, number 18. I want you to see that denominations wasn't born or ordained of God. It was ordained of the devil. And that's where the lie comes. Amen. From the denominational ranks. Amen. Number 19. He opposed. He's opposed to the true word bride. He takes his own bride. He opposes this true bride too. See? See? 
What does he oppose? The truth that is in the broad. Number twenty. Then kind that takes the word is God's true bride. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Alright, we're going to go deeper. Number 21. The Antichrist refuses the true bride doctrine. What is the true bride doctrine? The seventh angel's doctrine. What is the seventh angel's doctrine? The Holy Ghost doctrine. Amen. Amen. The Spirit and the Prophet and the Bride will all be saying the same thing. Amen. Therefore he takes his own bride now, builds her up under a creed of his own, makes her a denomination, see, full of deception, full of blasphemy, and full of falsehood. Notice this, notice this now, number 22, look at it very, very carefully. The regular routine of theology denied Jesus Christ at his first coming. Right? And it will deny him at his second coming. That's right. Yes, that's right. Amen. Right? Yes. Who are they? Theologians. Mm. When those priests stood up there, of men, renowned men, holy men, spotless men, scholars to the dots. Yeah. All they've done day and night, generation after generation, is live right in that Bible. And they deny this coming. Yes. See when the light comes. Amen. of this day deny the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The regular routine of theology denied his first coming and it will do the same thing at the second coming. There's your ranks of liars, deceivers, retrobates and falsehoods and Corruption, it's all in the same category. But number 23, now the humble little bride of Christ, hallelujah, just simply believes the word, whoever she is, it's individuals. Yes. Amen? Yes, not denominations, not groups, it's individuals. Yep. Number 24, the Word, hallelujah, can only recognize the Word. Amen. It can't recognize a denomination or a perversion. It knows better. It's the Word, see. It's the Word. All right, number 25. A wheat can't be nothing but a wheat. Yes. Amen. Amen. It started a wheat, it'll head up a wheat. And a weed can't never be a wheat. Yet it is watered, look, 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 by the same anointing. Amen? Yes. Same life giving rain. But a weed can never be a weed. Number 26. There she is. That's her. I'm so glad that I'm with her. Yes. Amen. 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 She's a mystical church. But she's undeceived. Amen? Yes. She don't have any denomination. 
She is undeceived. She carries none of these great big fancy names and big buildings. No, 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 no. She is not deceived. Amen. She meets, glory be to God, wherever there is members of the body gathered together. See? Yes. They worship, amen, in spirit and truth. Amen. 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 They were predestinated, glory be to God, before the foundation of the world. They cannot be deceived. That's right. None of these things are of any interest to her. She builds on the Word and she feasts on the Word. Amen. <coughs> She's free from illusion and fallacy and mistakes. Number 27, the true bride, hallelujah, there's going to be one. Oh yes. Why? She's predestinated. She won't be denominated because she's predestinated. Amen. She's predestinated to hear her name called when it's called. Amen. I'll be standing somewhere listening for my name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to get into some controversy here. Now we're going to get into something pretty deep. And I want to say this, I'm only responsible to God for reading what has been vindicated. Yes. Amen. All right. Now, number 28, after the seals, look what he said. I can't say too much on these things, but you can go home and you can study on them if you want to. Number 28. Amen. When something is fixing to take place, the message, are you reading with me? Will go to another nation, another people. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Yes. You know, he said, Daniel took every word and believed every word of the prophet Jeremiah. Amen. He took it and he believed it. He said, should we believe our prophets? He said, yes. Amen. Now watch the prophetic utterance coming forth. He says, we're in the eager age where there is to arise prophetic Utterance. You believe in prophetic utterance? Amen. Amen. Alright, the message will go to another nation, another people. Did he say that? Yes, he said that. Should we believe it? Yes, we should believe it. He also said that the sun travels west, the gospel has traveled west. Amen. From Jerusalem, it went over into France, Germany. From Germany it went to England, John Wesley. Yes. From John Wesley, it jumped right over into America. The Bible back of the 20th century. Amen? Yes. Amen. And then it hit the West Coast. And he says, we can't go any further. We'll be back east again. The message will go to another nation. Another people. Amen. Yes. Okay. Now, here comes some controversial things. Let's go slow. If you turn to the back of your book, all right, you have a picture there of a great man of God. His name, Smith A. Wigglesworth. 
Brother Branham called him a great warrior of the faith. Yes. Amen. And what is the Holy Ghost given for? Brother Branham said, There come forth Brother Bosworth, Smith Wigglesworth, and Dr. Price. And all those. He said, Smith Wigglesworth died one night. Dr. Price died the next morning. Within 24 hours, I was on the field, Brother Branham said. And now my time's coming up. Amen. The gospel will go to another nation, another people. Oh my. Here we find Smith Wigglesworth. He was born in 1859 and died in 1947. Okay? Dr. Price, Charles Price, was born 1887 and died in 1947. You know what happened in 1947? The angel came to visit William Brown. He said, Now I've come from the presence of Almighty God. And he was commissioned in 1947 to go forth into all the nations and pray for that sick. Right? Well, don't study this. There's, there's a lot to learn in it. But here we have Smith Wigglesworth, and I want to read to you what he said at the beginning of the 20th century. At the beginning. I'm sure many of you have heard that at the beginning of the 20th century, Smith Wigglesworth prophesied about Australia's mighty revival and how God would use Australia to impact the nations. This is well documented. It's in the Encyclopedia with Wikipedia. See? And there's many writings on this if you want to go and, and study it. But this is what he said. And I want you to listen to what he said. Australia, prophesying, he said, Australia, you have been chosen by God for a great move of the Holy Spirit. This move of God will be the greatest move of God ever known in mankind's history. And will start, look at the time frame here, towards the end of the 20th century and move into the 21st century. Amen. 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 Yeah. This move of God will start a great revival in Australia and spread throughout the whole world and usher in the second coming of Jesus. <coughs> this will be the final revival before the coming of the Lord. God will raise up a man in Australia who will lead this move of God under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. This man will bow down to no other than God. Amen. 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 I'm only responsible for reading yeah. what has been written. Amen. Amen. A mighty move of God. Next week, come early, don't listen. They don't know what mighty works are. That's next week's yeah. message, the Lord will. They don't know what mighty works are. All right. Now, here's, here's something that's, that's pretty striking. Okay? Taking sides with Jesus. You read him with him. Now, <laughs> now do you know, when those early men went out, sometimes there were only about six or eight of them. Together. And they shook the country. Well, you know, when Aquila and Priscilla 
that great revival that Apollos was having over there, there was only about six or eight men and women in that bunch. The whole church meant six or eight. He said, you've got five or six, seven times as many here tonight as they had then. You know, Jesus only had twelve apostles. We're always thinking of something big. But God don't deal in big numbers. That's right. It's in these little groups where he gets it, see? Look all down through the age. At any time he ever met with men. It was in small groups, see? And spoke with them and ordained them. It's God's good pleasure to do that. Amen. Oh, 65. How can you have it? A revival in our time. The revival, look, 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 will be so small, they'll never, ever, or they'll never know it ever happened. Pentecostals say, oh, there's, there's going to be a great thing happen. Oh, there's going to be a great thing happen in this country. What do you say? It's happening! And they don't know it. God! Hidden in simplicity. That's right. Amen. Amen? Yes. Joseph Bose come to Brother Branham. He said, Brother Branham, I want to see Chicago shaken for God. He said, they haven't been shaken since Moody. Brother Brown said, Joshua, it's already been shaken. I'm talking about the church. That little group has already seen the revelation of Jesus Christ. All that out there is cannon fodder. Amen? Yes. The only thing that will shake them is the atomic bomb. Amen? Yes. He said, there may not be 15 out of Chicago. There may not be 10 out of this generation out of the whole city of Chicago. It pleases God to move in small numbers. A revival in our time, <laughs> it would be so small, so small, they wouldn't even know it was happening. Did you get that? message will go to another nation another people number 29 look she'll be a token to the world huh? a little group like that yes she'll be a token to the world brother what we have been preaching in this hall has been plastered everywhere amen, amen. it's gone north South, East, and West. Don't have a look at the web page and all the dots on the face of the earth. Should be something the world can look at and say, the rest of the world can say, Ah, she's a holy roller. Amen. She's the second cousin. She don't belong to our group. See that? I know that's a good thing. She belongs to this group up here. She cannot be deceived. Amen. Number 30. Now I want you to notice he does it that way in every age. He does it every time by the same method. See? 
He doesn't need multitudes. He needs six or eight. That's right. Amen. Yes. He doesn't need denominations. He took twelve apostles and shook the earth. Amen. He has to take believers. And then in order to have believers to meet his word, he's got to predestinate it to that age, you see. He's got to predestinate this thing to be there to meet the challenge of the age. Predestinated to catch the message of the age. Yes. He said, did you get it? Did you feel it? Did you see it? Amen. Amen. Did you understand it? Oh my. Number 31. When he predestinates anything to happen and says it will happen, he knows that seed will be there just at that time. Brother, I do not believe you are sitting in this meeting by chance this morning. True. I believe if you are a true seed of God, you have pre predestinated to sit in that seat. Amen. Amen. Yes. You have been predestinated to be in Australia. Yes. You have been predestinated to see the coming of the Lord. Amen. 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 No mistake, brother. No mistake. No misjudgment. No deception. Oh my. Number 32. Look, 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 look. If God gives a message, somebody's going to hear it somewhere. I'll be standing somewhere waiting to hear my name. Amen. 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 And brother, God's message never comes via denomination. Amen. That's God's message never comes via a group. Yes. Amen. God's message comes via the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 I went west for the blast yes. and come back east with the Holy Spirit interpreting. Hallelujah. Amen. The un written word yes See? number 33 somebody's going to get it because they predestinated to be a church at the end of the road number 34 predestinated there's the mystery amen <laughs> he before Christ or anything else was ever on earth you see his great mystery that he chose the bride, knowing that Eve would fall from disbelieving the word, knowing that she would fall. But he would choose a bride that would not fall, that would hold to that word regardless of what the rest of the world had to say about it. They would hold to that word. Amen. That was the coming of the Lord. Yes. Number 35. Here it is. Here it is. When he can't take the word, they know right then he's a denominational vulture. Oh my. Number 36. Only. 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 Should we believe our prophets? Yes. Should we believe the Holy Spirit? Yes. Only the elected or predestinated will be able to detect the difference between them. Yes. The elect cannot be deceived. It is written, on no account. For the scripture says very clearly in Matthew 24, 24, that the elect cannot be deceived. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets show and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect. Oh my number thirty seven. There it is. There it is. Here's a 
a striking one. Now the people don't associate with you very much when you become a real believer. Amen. 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 See, what do they do? They move away. Yes, they do. Huh? Oh, yeah. They move away. They, they isolate you. Yeah? Brother, they resent you. Yeah. Your workmates, they turn their back on you, right? Mm. They want nothing to do with you. You're not welcome in the neighborhood. That's right. See? Look at number 38. When the Holy Spirit can take you up into a sphere, then the whole thing looks chaos. Then when you come back down, you seem like to the people, you're a rascal. Then you're, you're nothing but an old sarcastic. You're a fool because you stand as an old crank and always rebuking the people. Mm. Oh my. Yeah. See where you land up? But you know what? The sad part about it all is this. You can go and read Matthew 10, 36. And a man's father shall be they of his own household. Yes. That's right. That's the undeceived bride. She's pushed off to one side. Amen. Number 39. But if you ever climb into those spheres one time, where you can be in the presence of God, not through emotion, but through genuine Holy Spirit lifting up, the whole thing is wrote like a bot. The glory of the Lord has departed from the whole denominational outfit. That's right. There's none of them that's right. Oh my. Oh my. Look at number 40. The sleeping virgin was deceived. Amen. The church is deceived. The denominations are deceived. See, stay with the word. Amen. Amen. There's none of them. That's right. Number 41. He would deceive the very elected if it were possible. See, but it isn't. Praise God for that. It's impossible. Thank you, Lord. It is impossible. Hallelujah. Amen. Once the word of God is injected into you, that wound closes, brother. Yes. Amen, sister. Amen. That word remains in you for eternity. Thank you. God bless you. She cannot be deceived. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you. Brother, let's stand, brother. <coughs> let's sing a hymn. Number 90. 90. I've got so much to thank you for. Look at that. Amen. Amen, brother. Predestinated. Yes. Lord. Thank you, Lord. The foundation of the world. Amen. 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 When I
Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord.